So obviously it would make sense for me to do a video on BHAs following AHAs in our chemical exfoliation series. However, enzymatic exfoliation is so much more interesting. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, welcome to Fun Fast Facts Friday. It's gonna be fun and it's gonna be fast and it's gonna be factual. The, all the sources and everything that I talk about will be linked below in the description box. Enzymatic exfoliation is brought about by proteolytic enzymes. Those are any group of enzymes that break down the chain-like molecules of proteins into shorter fragments called peptides and eventually into their components, which is amino acids. If you remember correctly, the epidermis, your skin, has four layers. The orange Lego represent the stratum corneum, or horny cells. The green Legos represent the bonds that hold the cells together. AHAs break down the bonds between the cells and then they sloth off. Enzymes work by actually breaking down the protein or orange Lego and slothing them off that way. Proteolytic enzymes are present in bacteria, algae, viruses, and plants. There are many types of enzymes that we could talk about. They all usually end in A's and in fact your body actually makes their own proteolytic enzymes called amylase and lipase. They're secreted by your pancreas and they help break down food that you eat. But today we're going to talk about fruit enzymes that you're commonly going to see in skincare and we're also going to talk about honey. I know, how is it that honey always makes it into these videos? But it does because it's a superfood. Pineapple contains bromelain. Papaya contains papain. Honey contains protease. Enzymes hydrolyze the peptide bonds of keratins and collagen in the stratum corneum of the skin. Did you get that? So that's essentially what they do. It's much more straightforward than AHAs. All right, now, what can that do for our skin? What's the purpose? What's the research show of essentially doing this type of exfoliation? Well, a common theme when you start researching exfoliation is that when you thin the stratum corneum, remember that's the top layer, you strengthen the viable tissues below in the epidermis and the dermis. And enzymatic exfoliation is no different than AHAs in that way. They both strengthen the skin underneath. An interesting study called this, was that a properly prepared conjugated 1% papain was more effective in exfoliating the stratum corneum than a lotion containing lactic acid. That brings us to one of the pros over AHAs or BHAs in using enzymatic exfoliation. One of them is that it is much less irritating to the skin than the very, very acidic AH and BHAs. Another study called this showed that enzymatic exfoliation improved skin hydration, skin firmness, skin thickness, and skin smoothing. Mm, but there's a little bit of a catch. You gotta, you gotta read the fine details, the fine print sometimes of these studies. They were applying 15% twice a day. That's a lot more than you're gonna see in products you're gonna commercially buy. Just to note that. Here's some interesting points from that study. Number one, after one month, they showed surface changes, meaning that the exfoliation was very effective. Number two, at two months they saw epidermal changes, meaning that after two months of topical use, they started to see the viable tissue changing. Number three, at three months, they saw that the epidermal changes had increased as well as showing dermal changes. You don't see a ton of um, enzymatic exfoliating products on the market. However, one of my favorites is this product. 
The first ingredient of this is honey, and it contains papaya enzymes. Now, after we talked about how this other study used 15% and they saw changes, I did reach out to Josh Rosebrook's company and ask them if they would disclose the amount of papaya enzymes in this mask, considering it's kind of far down on the list. I think it's right here. Um, of course, they couldn't disclose it to me, which is totally understandable. Um, however, they did assure me that it is tested to show that it has enough enzymes to be effective. So that's pretty cool. I, um, you know, I believe that because of the way the products are formulated. Just take a peek at how beautiful it is. It does also contain walnut shells, so you do get a little bit of physical exfoliation as well. And I think you can use this once a week. So this would be my go-to. Um, enzymatic exfoliation product. That's all for this video guys. Again, the takeaway here is that enzymatic exfoliation is much less irritating than AHAs or BHAs and that continued use is where you're really going to see results. Do you have any products that you would suggest? Leave them in the comments below. Um, like I said, I don't see it advertised in a ton of products. So.